This is a tutorial on how to update picklist values of uh, a multi-select picklist field in Salesforce with the help of the data loader tool. So um, I'd like to uh, go with you here step by step through the different uh, steps. First of all, I have um, created here a custom field called interests on the contact object. Um, in the back end, this is how it looks like. You can see it's uh, this is this is the name basically interests, and it's of type a picklist field uh, with a multi-select option. So. Uh, here are the different values that can be selected. I haven't limited it to to just uh, those values, but um, yeah, your situation might be a bit different where you have limited it and uh, you can only choose the values that are mentioning here. Uh, let's see uh, how this works. So for example, for pa Barbara Levy, we could uh, change it here in this list view and set uh, basketball and uh, surfing and save it. Or obviously you can also go into this uh, record and open just one record and then choose the values here. Uh, golf, skating, soccer, for example. Good. So this is how to change it one by one. But in this uh, tutorial, we're going to have a look on how to mass update many uh, picklist values in one go. So for that uh, reason, we will first of all export all data that we would like to update in this example here we're going to extract all contacts um, but you have to export whatever you would like to change and you need to export at least the ID field and the field um, that you would like to update in our case it would be the in the ID of the contact object and the interests field so let's do it now we go to the data loader, we click here export, and we are logging in. Yes, we are logged in and here you choose the object that you would like to export. In my case, it is the contact object and I'll choose here where I would like to save the CSV file. So I've created already a folder called export from data loader. Let's save here um, the file called contacts. And in the next step, you choose the, the field that you would like to change. In my case, it's the interest field and you have to select also the ID field because we're going to do an update and we have to uh, necessarily uh, export the ID field. We hit finish and we see how this looks like. We have exported 20 records uh, with the ID uh, column here and the interests column here. Great. Now let's go to this tutorial. I would link 
uh, this uh, tutorial from from the the article um, and also from the video on sfhappier.com um, and let's go now through those steps so uh, first of all prepare your data in excel that means we will open excel and import the data into excel and we will prepare it we will set the values that are correct so let's go to excel um, i click here import and i'll select csv file and uh, here i can leave the values as they are but in the next step i have to choose what the, the limiter is um, so excel knows how to split the uh, the file and i have to select that um, the, the csv uh, is comma uh, separated so i will um, choose here i will choose here comma Right. So, uh, as a next step, I will uh, set here the values that uh, are correct for uh, for this uh, tutorial. I will simply um, choose here randomly some some values, um, and let's choose here uh, skating and golf as well. Yes, this is how it could look like. And so what it uh, asks us now in the in the in the second step is to change the the semicolon here uh, into a random uh, symbol and it suggests to take this symbol here. So as you can see, the values inside this column are separated by a semicolon. And um, let's now change this. So for that reason, I will search and replace. In German, this is called uh, ersetzen. So it means to, to replace. Um, Exactly. So let's look for uh, the semicolon and we will exchange it by uh, the hashtag. I'll hit here exchange or change all. And I can close it and you can see here that really the, the sign has changed into this hashtag. Next, I have to uh, convert this sheet into a CSV delimited file. So I can simply save it and you choose here CSV file. And let's call it uh, contacts updated so we uh, will not overwrite this old version of this file and we save it next we will open up this sheet in notepad or in any other text editor and we will replace the semicolons with commas so let's um, do this let's let's uh, replace 
the semicolons which are separating the two columns with a comma again I'll replace all of them great and we should also replace this symbol with the semicolon so let's replace all let's find this symbol and we will exchange it with the semicolon sign I hit replace all and this is how it looks like so as you can already see the columns are separated by by commas and within the interest uh, field the semicolon is used and that's it so let's save it and we go back to the data loader and we will go here for the update we choose the object in our case the contact in your um, in your case you choose whatever object you would like to update and let's select the updated file here we hit next and again it finds 20 records here you need to do the, the mapping basically from this file to the Salesforce fields usually you can hit auto match so it automatically detects uh, matching fields and for some reason it didn't find the ID field so we'll do this manually we match ID in the file to the ID in the in the object and the same with interests we hit OK next finish and you can see that all records were successfully updated and there were no errors let's go back now to Salesforce and so this was the, the situation just before we updated it so I am refreshing now and as you can see the values are populated correctly you see the, the interests are all selected and if I would go here into such a field in, into such a record then you can see that the values are set correctly so this is how to update picklist values in Salesforce with the help of the data loader tool and with the help of Excel. Please, if this video was of any value to you, um, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please comment below this video and ask your questions so we can have a look at it together. And again, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you would like to follow this channel with other uh, and receive updates to other tutorials relating to Salesforce, please follow this YouTube channel of SF Happio. Thanks so much for watching.